Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at my sleeper crim my crimson long shot. So this is a project that started out, I put a teaser up on it on the channel, just a little nine second teaser. Um, it was something different. I wanted to do something different with my crimson long shot. As you can see, it's gone and it's right here. This is a genuine crimson long shot. If you want to look, tell me I'm wrong. There's red inside there. It's, it's a real crimson. And uh, I cut it and painted on it. So people were, some people were a little upset with this. Um, understandably, I would be if I didn't have one because I've always wanted one. And I've had it for about a year and a half now and I've never done anything to it because it was so rare. But what's the point of having something this rare if you can't have fun with it? So that's always been my philosophy with stuff like that. Just like my white out long strike that I shoved the next BZ in. So um, I'm a collector of rare blasters, but I like to use my blasters that are rare. You know, um, I don't believe in just having them sit on a shelf and collect dust. So that's what I did with this. So as you can see, the whole back is very different. There's an integrated Firefly with the shortened and reduced method of Mr. Nathan. Um, I'll put a link to his channel and maybe the video in the description if I can find it, which I probably will be able to. Um, what I did is I took the Firefly, used to be about up here. I cut slits across here, just like in his video. I pretty much did the same thing, pushed it like this, molded it in here, and it's very clean in there. Um, there are some spots that I'll go over where I didn't do the best on this, and I'll show you why. Um, and then up here, instead of keeping the big shroud, I still have it right here. Um, I So instead of keeping the big shroud, I put the stock long shot stock cut on here. And that was to help align this stock as I wanted to cut as little as this shell as possible. So I, um, I use this for alignment, helping me make it straight. And it's obviously straight. You know, I took the time to make it straight. Reason I didn't put this back on over top, um, it would have been a lot more work and it definitely would have given the impression of a Firefly integration and I kind of wanted it to be just like a bulky stock. I didn't want it to be a, a Firefly. So, and then this one required a lot more cutting than I wanted to and just blah, 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 stop focusing. So yeah, that is the back portion. Um, it's pretty cleanly integrated. The grip's pretty good. Um, autofocus is being weird. Uh, in here, I'm not going to get too close because it auto focuses, but you can see these little gaps in here. I had um, spot putty in there, and apparently I sanded it a little too hard and I didn't realize. So the gap closed, and I only realized that after I painted the red on because the black, it looked fine, obviously. Um, so it's not the cleanest one out there, but I mean, I could always go over it again and then repaint it because it's just one color. But, you know, for now, I think I'm happy with it. And then on the front is clearly different as well. I had the stock scope in front, and I'll show them in a picture. It looked really good, but it wasn't the exact look I was going for. And it was a little impractical to have a giant front and a scope you can't really use to aim with. So I decided to add this kit. This is a Blaster Forge originally Hulker kit for the long shot. I've gotten a lot of questions about it. Um, now Worker sells it apparently. I, I don't know what happened to Blaster Forge. He doesn't have a lot of stuff up, even though he's one of my favorite creators. Um, his stuff's really cool. Go check him out. Um, but this was his kit, and then I think Worker bought it or something. So the parts that are in this kit are this big piece right here to cover up the gap and give it a nice angle that matches the front here. Obviously the top rail that you don't have to cut the top rail at all, which is what I wanted to do. I didn't want to cut this more than I had to. Um... This big front right here that matches the holes down here very nicely. And then the front piece here that gives it a nice cool curve up front. And then it has a really nice big barrel in the front for barrel material. And I have my brass breech in there. Um, so the other parts on this blaster are a excited long shot mag release on um, Thingiverse and a muzzle on Thingiverse. Um, this isn't ammo counters. I've gotten some people telling me it was. It's not. It's made by MJ Nerf Mods on Instagram. Um, I really like his stuff too. He makes some pretty cool stuff. And they're all open source, which is really nice of him. So I'll put um, his Instagram 
down in the description to go check him out. He has a lot of cool barrel designs like this and some other parts. And then this, I forget who's made by. I'll try to post it down there too, but it's just, if you type in Thingiverse, it's there. Just type in Longshot, and it's like the third one to come up. It's very comfy. It's very thick. It's very solid too. These were both printed by Evan Williams of Foam Freaks again because he's my guy for 3D printing stuff. His quality is really, really nice. I had no cleanup to do on these. They're super nice. Um, high resolution. They're just amazing parts as always from him. So um, I'll put his description there too. So much stuff to put in there. It's going to be a pain. Anyway, only other thing on the extra one that you can see is obviously a worker pump grip. That is no... The only thing I had to do is take off the bipod legs and I don't like those anyway. So it makes it big and comfy for the big prime in here. Inside, I'll put up a picture of the internals. It is running a worker plunger tube, a worker metal plunger head, plunger cap, catch, bolt sled, all metal ones by worker. Um, I like these internals. They're very solid, um, especially I would have went artifact if I found them. I couldn't find them anywhere in stock though. So I just went worker for now. And they do work very well, especially the bolt sled. The bolt sled's really solid, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. If um, The plunger tube gave me a little bit of problems. The nub fell off, which is kind of unfortunate because that helps support the front. So I have 3D printed inserts coming in the mail. Um, I'm getting them printed up locally, so, but they just have to come. So I'm not going to dry fire, or I'm not going to fire this too much. I'm just going to do like five rounds in the shooting demo and then leave it at that because I don't want the sh plastic inside here to shatter because it's old and... I don't want to break this thing because it's one of my favorite blasters now. It's really nice. So with that combo, I also have a brass breech made by me. It's one of my cleanest, just like the X Zeus I made. If I posted the video on that, I don't think I did yet. This is going out first. Um, I'm really good at long shot brass breeches. I think it's because they're easier. They have a lot more give to them, especially in the bolt. They're a lot thicker and they're just a lot easier for me. Doing irritises brass breech hated it i freaking hate retaliators now i'm never doing another one but um i'll do long shot brass breeches all day they're really easy to me this one's a 14 and a half inch it has 12 inches of 17 30 seconds including the little stub back here and then it has a little bit more added on at the end that i had spare and then it has two and a half inches of 9 16 at the end to create an airfoil around the steffens that i use so they don't fly out at weird angles. They just create a cushion so it goes straight. And I've used that in the Exus, and I took that to APOC, and it destroys. And this has a heavier spring. This has an 18 kg Nerf Turf spring. If I didn't put that in, if I didn't put that in the whole summary, I'll put them down in the description too. All the parts and crap will be down there. Um, but yeah, this this thing's a powerhouse. It's it's actually quieter than my Exus, surprisingly, because the seal's really good, and it has better range and accuracy it's amazing so let's go take this outside and do a shooting demo real quick just a few mat darts because you know i don't want to risk the internals of this and then we'll come back inside for a recap all right i'm gonna be doing the shooting test for the crimson long shot um, i'm lower to the ground because my tripod's broken still and i don't have another one shut up we're gonna be shooting at the shed and let's get some shots down range i'm gonna be aiming for that right door A little low on that one. Hit. 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 How many darts do I have left? One more. Hit. So, again, this thing is super quiet. You could barely hear it, and it's really powerful. I mean, that's about 100 feet right there. Easy. Um, I need to get a optic on here this is just using the top rail but i was still able to hit a door that's about the width of a person so i'm pretty happy with that um and it's actually not that bad of a prime with this firefly stock it's a very easy prime because of the extra girth in the back and the grip's all nice and beefy it's pretty easy it feels about the same as my 16 kg so so as you can see this thing shoots really well um it's accurate with even without a scar barrel and i could put one on here but i don't think it needs one and um, internals are all top notch, externals are pretty top notch, and I think it looks really good. Um, there's gonna be some people mad that I cut up a crimson. I don't care. It's a nice looking blaster, and I think something this rare and something that can be this powerful deserves to have a really nice shell and look really nice. So um, 
yeah, that is my Crimson Longshot Sleeper. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. This is the paint I use to match the crimson. It is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer Satin Colonial Red. Satin means that it's not glossy, um, and that's how the Nerf paint is pretty much, especially when you put a flat clear coat over. This is the line where I painted. You can kind of see it, kind of not. It's more apparent that it's different colors on the 3D printed parts because... Oh, it's mail time. I have stuff coming. So it's it's clear that this is these are different colors because the 3D printed parts take paint differently. Um, if I want to, I can always, again, repaint this in white because it's matte clear coat. It's not really going to mess it up too much. I can always darken it up, but I kind of like the different reds on here. It kind of makes it look, I don't know. I don't think it looks too bad at all. And the front of this thing just looks beastly. Like, give that nice little tilted angle like in my thumbnails. It looks very nice. The sink performs nice. It's a great blaster. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I'm thinking about doing the same exact internals on this bad boy. Shit. That one. For End War next year. Because I'm actually trying to get a table for End War. We'll see how it goes. Um... And if I do, I'll be doing the same exact internals on this, maybe even the same. I'll probably do this. I don't think I'm going to do an integration. I think I'm going to keep it stock like that, do a nice pad rest, maybe do something with the front gun. We'll see how much time I have. Um, but I'll put that up for silent auction or a raffle. I'm thinking raffle for that. So if I actually do make it to End War this year and have a table, come check me out to have something that's internally like this. And this will probably be there for show too because why not? Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you guys for checking out my channel and checking out this gorgeous rare blaster that I defiled. So um, if you like more stuff like this, I'm probably going to have some more videos posted soon. Um, I'm getting a little more free time on my hands, just a tiny bit. Um, midterms just passed, so I'm not studying as much. So um, let me know what videos you guys want to see on anything on this back wall that hasn't already been done. And as always, have a great day. Sponsor me.